Keep going, girl. Come on. I know, baby. I know. Yeah. It has no ears. It is a mini mancha. Midnight it, must have breed with it her. It looks like yeah. midnight. <laughs> looks like a little midnight. Come on, Mama, keep pushing. It looks like little. Shh, 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 shh. Keep pushing. Come on, Mama. Come on, baby. This helps it breathe. Get breathing. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. leg out and I'm not sure I think both should be out Has white ears. Like midnight. Like midnight. It's a girl. Probably. Little girl. Wow. Good girl. I now we'll just let her lick her and work on cleaning up a lot. Then the placenta will come. So yeah, she's got to deliver the placenta. She might have another baby in there. Oh. She looks like if she doesn't. If you want to see the the cord. Oh, it's so small. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I should have helped pull her out, but it seemed like you did. Based on the videos Amelia and I have seen, that they kind of get in there and, and help. Yes, at some point. Guess what we have? We have a baby goat. We've got a baby goat. Yeah. Oh, it's got its little noises. <laughs> Betty, it's a girl. It looks like a little girl. Look, Daddy, life on the farm. And midnight sits Daddy because it's a mini mancha. Ooh. <coughs> oh! Oh! <coughs> midnight, you're father. She might have more babies. We don't know. Yeah, she does look pretty skinny now, but it's well, still she's got to still birth a stillbirth, the placenta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and other um, fluid. Good mad. job, baby. You's a good mama. You cleaning your baby. You got a little mini mancha baby. Wow. We don't we don't know the names yet, sweetie. It's okay. We can get ideas. We can get ideas. I have, I have an idea. It's, it's moonlight, but stuff. Yeah, well, she's she's learning. She's got to get her legs she's, about her. She was just born. Uh-huh. She was just born. Getting her little yeah. legs. She knows there's something good up there, and she's going to figure it out. 
Good job, baby. Good job. That little black goat. Grandma's here. Mama. Mama goat. That little baby. There you go. The chicken's coming to look. Yeah. Oh, she's making noises. Yeah, buck buck. That's okay. She can eat it. She can eat it. That gives her vitamins back. We're waiting for little cutie pie here. To, oh, she's wagging her little tail. Is she getting any little mookie yet? <laughs> she is trying, huh? Oh, she's going on the... She is getting some new monkey. Is she getting some good? There you go. I don't think we should ban midnight. I do want to go pet midnight though. You you go can you can go pet him. That's fine. The baby has nursed some. Now Mama's cleaning her off some more. Princess. Now we're even. We have well, Princess is a mama, and, and we call her baby. She's got more drainage coming out, but we know that's because the baby's been nursing. I was explaining to the kids about her passing the placenta or getting ready to birth another baby. So we'll see. There you go. Now she's getting her mookie. I think new life. New life? You like that name? Yeah, we're saying oh, all no, of our no, baby moonlight. names. Moonlight. I've heard moonlight. You said moonlight, yeah. New life because so many. Born. It's a happy day on the yes. little farm here. But look, she's getting her milk and her mama's cleaning her more. Thank you to Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and Weedem and Reet because Amelia, you and I, we've been getting goat birthing lessons. Yes. <laughs> we knew it was going to happen. And you've watched them with me too. Yes, we've been more getting ready. Good, more, good. Though. She's got more blood coming out and mm -hmm. that's... Which means either a new baby or... <sighs> something, something else is happening. Okay, so baby goat mama goat number two whatever we, we have so many names for her princess Reese cup and oh little sweetie but we can tell she's starting to contract again on the sides so we will we will see what what happens next but it's about time amelia you might want to scooch honey might, about time for something else to happen here but the whole family is here for this experience, aren't we? Except for Daddy and Benny. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tra so Travis has Benjamin riding around on the scooter. There you go. There you go, yeah. Let, let, we'll get her back up to her milk. Back up this way, little sweetie. Naomi's idea is nutmeg, which seems really fitting. I like it, too. I know. I so. was going to her New Life. Daniel really likes New Life. We shall see. Look at her little tail going. <laughs> Uh -huh. She's biting. My, she's biting my she's at the wrong end, but she'll she'll, she'll find it. it her her figuring it out is part of her being strong. There oh, she goes. Yeah. Oh, Danny, you might want to move so she's Mama can say. come and see her Mama. granddaughter. It's good oh, here. Yeah, Mama does have blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were looking, you know, genetically. This new little baby goat. It looks like some blue in there. Um, and her grandmother has blue eyes. Her mama has, oh, mama has golden eyes. And men, and now there is some thicker drainage coming out, dad so this is good. Eyes. Time for something else to happen here. No, midnight, her dad has more like But a, we do definitely think it, this is a little dough. And yeah, those are new noises, aren't they? That we're hearing her mm -hmm. mama make, the little gurgling noises to Oh no, her. I've heard that a bunch. I've never heard a, a mama goat make that to a baby recently on this farm. Like, did you just hear her? I, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, like when she... Just, just a little bit, not, the, not this way, you know? It yeah, seems like, like she's when, really talking to her baby like when, with that. When, Ma, when Princess Reese Cup, when she was a little baby... Okay, true woman of the internet, I'm here over on Weedem and Reap. They have a blog post, Postpartum Care for Goats. Now, we've got some books on goat birthing. But I've been no, here reading this Meg. to, Meg. yeah, so I think we're already calling her that, reading this to the kids. God bless you. Baby's getting some water, which is confusing. Princess is getting some water. Nicely just push Sean back, Hi. honey. Hi. It's our little Katahdin sheep. He's, he's, go, he's going on his own. That's fine. He was just kind of sniffing around. So baby is drinking, but we are going to mix up. It says, after delivery, I like to give my doe a small amount of grain mixed with molasses and a bit, bit of honey to boost her energy. 
Also, it's good to offer fresh water as well. So we're doing that. Stinky. Stinky can have some water, but as long as he scooches. And we are making up. Liam already took some hay down to a small little fenced area with some housing for Princess here and her baby. Nutmeg. And we are still, yeah, I think I think as this video goes on, we're, we're decided on nutmeg, huh? Yeah. She just, it's, we've been waiting to use that name. Nutmeg. And again, She's been some, some thicker me. drainage. I was just reading it can actually take up to 12 hours, but she should. Oh yeah, yeah, barnyard rooster. Yes, fella. Should, That's within an hour or two, it's probably been close to an hour now. And so, because she's drinking milk, we can't stop her. Yeah, she's not milk. drinking milk right now, but she's just sniffing around on her mama. Yeah, it's fine. Can yeah, let pet? you can no, pet her. That's pet fine. Pet. She'll be very loved. Okay, so Princess was just licking her baby some more. These are all good things, and of course I'm here. My my baby is kicking. <laughs> yep, good job. So she should respond to her baby's cries her our goat reading and she should lick her baby a lot and call out to her baby and all those good things are happening so liam has been holding nutmeg actually nutmeg pretty much came and laid in your lap didn't she and baby has been over there licking her some more all good and i think we're done i think this is a, a one kidding goat today and i think we're waiting on some more business end of the deal, but things are happening there. But yeah, I think she just has one. Okay, yeah, we've got some other grain going to the other animals. Baby's here, definitely working on passing. Some stuff here, and probably little nutmeg <laughs> is the name. Goes more and more each second. Is nursing. And Naomi is working on mixing up some molasses, honey, and grain for our goat reading as a treat here for Princess. Everybody, Amelia's going over there feeding more goats and chickens and such. Feeding them way over there so that Princess Mama here can enjoy her treat. You're having a good old time, aren't you, baby? Life on the farm. Ducks are going by. Here's some more ducks coming. And our goose. It looks like the ducks just got out of the pools. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, we got the duck pools filled today. Okay, guys, yeah, you go on to your treats now. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good job. Good mama. Okay, baby's eating her mix up again. <laughs> princess, princess, if we keep calling you baby, you baby mama, huh? You the baby mama. She's eating her treat. Nutmeg's doing her job. So I'm up here having a little break now. Just got done having a bag of these cookies from Aldi. We moved the mama and her baby, nutmeg, right? We're going, the, yeah, yeah, nutmeg. Into a small little yard with some hay, moved her special food treat in there, moved her water in there. When I was inside doing a few things, Naomi told me she delivered her placenta pretty much, right? And then she was eating it. That's that's what they do. Some will, some won't. So I'm just gonna walk down there, peek at them again. Then we need to do something with our pony. And uh, it's been quite quite the eventful morning. Hi, Nutmeg. Hey there, sweetie. Yes. Yes. Y'all are doing a great job. Yes, you are. Oh. Oh. You get back up now? Or are you resting? You resting? I think. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's exciting. Go find your mama. Go find your milk. For the rest of the day, you'll just see me sitting in various spots because yes, that was quite an active morning. And I'm supposed to have a baby myself next week, so yeehaw, hopefully I am next. I have received some questions though from where I shared some Instagram stories and pictures today 
on Facebook and Instagram and the YouTube community tab just the fact that this baby goat is a mini mancha. In a perfect world, you would want a smaller goat like an Nigerian dwarf to breed a female La Mancha so that a larger sized goat is having a baby. Things can go wrong if a large breed male goat breeds a smaller size like miniature goat. In our case, everything worked out in the end. I think that's why I reached in there and also helped Princess Mama Goat have her baby there just a little bit. We're supposed to have two hooves sticking out. We only had one. It probably was a little bit bigger baby for her. It all went really quick, but I felt I had to help her a little. I did jump in and help her just a little. She did a really good job. But in a perfect world, accidental breedings can happen with mismatched sizes and such. But in our case, our La Mancha buck is actually going to be fixed here real soon because he's more of like Amelia's pet dog. And so it's just going to make life easier on the farm. If we prevent those accidental breedings, our only intact male goat will be Stinky, our Nigerian dwarf male goat. By the way, I thought I would just go ahead and answer that question because I might get it a hundred times here in the YouTube comments, which is also fine. So the perfect plan here on the little farm was not that the larger breed goat would breed the smaller breed miniature female doe, but as I say, we got little nutmeg out of it. She is super cute. We will go out here. I've actually, I've laid here on the couch probably two and a half, three hours now and rested. So I'm ready to go back outside now. Got my new spring flag order in, so I thought I'd go check on the mama goat and nutmeg and hang these flags up too. So yeah, we're replacing, we got, there's Charlie. And this is the little flag in honor of Charlie. And I just put up this flag, nothing to do with goat births, but replacing it with a, a spring flag so we can get our spring feelings going. Okay, so there's our back porch spring flag, even though our poor flower pot, you can't tell. So here we go. Now Nutmeg is, she's about three days old now. And that's her mama. I have them out in the bigger yard today just while we're out here to play in the sunshine. Do some flips. Yes, you good girls. Are you glad to be alive, little nutmeg? I'm sure. Oh, jump it on your mama. Whoop. I got my hands full of stuff. I'm actually holding an armful of dinosaurs. We've been sitting in here playing. Now we're gonna go to the front swing. Weather report, it is supposed to be 76 today in Virginia. So we are getting some more outside time this morning. And then we're getting back to indoor school time. We had to have a goat sunshine break. Right, princess? Yes. And Nutmeg does, she gets away from her mama a little bit and then her mama calls her and she calls back to her mama. So Amelia is walking both our bucks but now the black one, that's midnight. He's getting fixed on Monday, but he is Nutmeg's daddy. And then the other one is Stinky. And hey, boy on the bike. But this is how she tandem walks goats around the property. And then these boys are doing some dinosaurs, having your apple juice. Yes. Uh-huh, you're having a nice time. What do you all think of new little nutmeg? Good. Good. So cutie pie. And nothing done in the gardens, but we do have some little mini irises coming up. So happy spring.
Okay, so can't even can't even open my eyes fully in this bright blaring sunshine as you see lots of boys on bikes going on. Thank you for watching our first goat birth happening here on our little farm. I'm sure there'll be many more goat births in the future. Maybe no more for this year though. We shall see how it all works out. So thank you for watching. I am uh, still very pregnant. I am 38 weeks, five days today. So hopefully that's the next baby happening. Bye-bye. <coughs>